how effed up is this front bumper? Hey everyone, welcome back. So we are continuing again with the Halloween costumes theme. If you guys can guess what I am, let me know in the comments. And we're also continuing with the Camry project today. Before we go ahead and continue with the Camry project, I have a very special announcement <laughs> that I would like to share with you guys. So I will start streaming on Twitch. This is something that I've wanted to do for a while now and I'm finally going to do this. So I will leave my Twitch channel information here on the screen, also in the description down below. So if you guys wanna go follow me, I'm very excited to do this. So the few things that I will do on Twitch is this Camry project just because this is lengthy and there's only so much I can do on YouTube like I can't just do like a two three hour video on YouTube so I figured that this will be something that I can work on on Twitch live with you guys interact a lot of you have helped me a lot with this because I am so lost like this is my first time doing anything like this so a lot of you have been a lot of help so that would be fun now that is not going to be my main thing that i do on twitch it's going to be more about me on a personal level i have also gamed before not on twitch not on anywhere just by myself but i've never been good at it i also want to get back into that so <laughs> i feel like i'll do a little bit of gaming as well so a little bit of cards a little bit of gaming a little bit of just random things a little bit of just getting to know me and also interact with you guys so i'm very very excited about that so october 6th friday october 6th will be my first twitch live stream i'm not sure on the exact time yet i will announce it somewhere i will announce it here on youtube stories probably a youtube post i'll announce it on instagram i'll announce it on facebook i'll announce it in a lot of places i feel like it'll be sometime friday afternoon to evening so i'll oh and i'll also put my schedule on twitch so you guys can know when i will go live this is my first time i am a little bit nervous so don't be so mean in the chat and another thing is that since i'm starting in october and of course i love halloween it's one of my favorite seasons i feel like i will probably most likely do these videos in a Halloween costumes, at least to start off with for the whole month of October. I don't know if I will do every single one in a costume, but most likely. <laughs> so again, I'll have all of my Twitch information here on the screen in the description down below, and I will be doing my first live stream on, <laughs> and I will be doing my first live stream this Friday, October 6th. And I am going to start with a Camry project, so very excited to see you guys there so back to the camry project so today is going to be a short video because i keep missing steps a lot of you keep helping me along the way <laughs> and apparently i missed well a lot of you suggested that i remove the door handles from the car just because when sanding it and then eventually painting it down this needs to be off so that's exactly what we will be doing today removing these door handles but in order to remove the door handles i have to remove the door panels so I've never done that before. It doesn't seem too hard. <laughs> Hopefully not, I'm not jinxing myself. So let's go ahead and get started with that today. So looking at this door panel, I see one screw right here. So that's pretty easy. There, I think there's another one under this. I need to remove this with the clip. And then I also feel there's something here. So I think maybe only three screws. I don't know, seems a little bit too easy. So I guess I'll remove those three screws and then we'll see if this comes out. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that this door, so the rear driver's side door, this door doesn't open from the outside. So now that I'm removing the door handle, it's going to force me to fix it sooner. It was on my list of things to fix for this car, but now I just need to get to it sooner, which I guess that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and start with removing those three screws and see if this comes off. I mean, it's not hard, it's just so annoying and not something that I enjoy doing. 
Whoever said that I need to remove it, like, <laughs> I understand, but I just, no. I'd rather remove trim all day and sand the car. And another thing is that um, these two bolts that were inside here for the door handle, like one of them was easy, another one was all the way inside here. That was so annoying. <laughs> so annoying, but finally got it. And I also, in that process, I realized that the door handle actually wasn't broken. It was just not hooked onto this little thing that just makes it open and close. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on to the driver's side, which should be a lot easier. Should be the same process again. I think so. If I, if I find any new bolts, then I'll let you know. I lied. There's two more bolts in the front doors. I'm assuming for the passenger doors the same just because it's a bigger door. So there's two more bolts here on the side and then the same three that we just did here. So let's remove those, remove the panel, remove the door handle, and then we should be good on this side. just keep making mistakes in this project <laughs> it's like a mistake after mistake in every video i effed up i didn't even realize it until i came to try to remove the handle the window is down so now the window is down and i can't get to the bolts to remove the handle <laughs> so do i need to put this door panel back together so everything I just removed put it back together in order to move the window up or just give it power and then connect the switches and then because this is a, this is not a manual window so then I could not roll the window what is it but, so then I could just put the window up <laughs> let me know in the comments below and another thing another thing that I messed up in is this door so I just closed it and now <laughs> I can't get I can't get it to open. I try to just move that little handle that opens and closes the door and I can hear it, but it just doesn't open at all. I I don't know, I blame it on the wig because the wig is honestly getting to me. I feel like when I work, I feel like I'm in my Camaro. It's like no visibility, no. Probably worse, probably the Viper. It's just like, it's getting to me. <laughs> okay, regardless, I have to figure that out. Here's an update on that front bumper. <laughs> So this is I what I did last time. I ended up using a paint stripper, but this is what happened. So the paint is still there. Nothing really happened other than now it looks like it's just dirty, like it hasn't been washed. Like maybe if it has like some dust or, or soap or something. So this is the result of it. I feel like I just keep making mistake after mistake in this project because this, <laughs> this was like after a few hours and now it just looks like this. So the front bumper is plastic. I think that's what ended up happening. I just didn't realize that you're not supposed to use paint stripper on plastic. So on a scale from one to 10, how effed up is this front bumper? And is there something else that I'm supposed to use on plastic in order to remove the paint? Or am I supposed to sand it just like I'm doing the rest of the car? Or do I just need to get a new front bumper? Let me know in the comments below because again, I'm brand new to this and apparently I am not good at it right now. This is the new orbital sander that I got. So a lot of you recommended this and this has actually been a lot easier, obviously, than just doing it by hand. I'm using 220 grit for the sandpaper here and I tested it on the front, well, on the hood of the car. So this is how it looks. So I ended up going down all the way to the primer. I still see the little rock chips that this front bumper has. Now I can't feel it at all so now it's completely smooth but I still see them so my question is am I on the right track is this where I am supposed to get the whole car to this just the primer or am I supposed to keep going 
all the way down to the metal and if I still see them is that fine now just because it's completely smooth but I can still see them and then once I sand the whole car if this is fine then the another layer of primer would solve that and then just the paint on top so hopefully I'm on the right track now <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that I am and again like I said that was just a lot easier and a lot faster than doing it by hand I just really hope that this is where I'm supposed to be because I've done this I feel like already like a hundred times that is it for this video I know that it wasn't like the most I know that it wasn't like the most exciting but we're learning I honestly feel right now that this Camry project is turning a bit into a disaster. I feel like, wow, I am so brand new at this and I am so lost. But then again, I'm like, you know what, appreciate the process because I feel like once I do this, then hopefully I get it and if I ever need to do this again, it'll be much easier. Of course, I'm still not going to be an expert. but. You know, you live, you learn, and a lot of you guys are helping me, so I really do appreciate that. So at the end of the day, even though it's a mess, I'm still happy with it. I'm still enjoying the process and learning a lot, and I just can't wait until the Camry is completely done. But in the meantime, we're learning. <laughs> so again, remember, I will be doing my first Twitch live stream. I am excited, I am nervous, I am feeling a lot of emotions, but I am just genuinely curious to see how it goes. I will be doing that this Friday, October 6th, feel like I said that, uh, I don't know if it's October 4th, October, regardless, I think it's Friday, October 6th, and it would be towards the afternoon or evening time. Again, I will announce that later on this week here on YouTube Stories. I'll probably also do a post. I will most, I will also announce it on Instagram and Facebook, so I will let you guys know. And again, I will continue working on the camera. So let me know about this because <laughs> if not, I will be making even more mistakes on Twitch, but again, you live and you learn, and this process is just about enjoying it and learning. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one.